have. The idea is that there will be uh, some online procedure in the country of destination and um, instead of uh, that citizen providing all the supporting documentation or information, whatever is needed for that particular uh, business activity to be started in the other country, then uh, it would just uh, authorize uh, the, the country of destination uh, to request uh, the information uh, directly from uh, his or her uh, home countries. There's a big chance, to, or at least for the digital uh, single market or for the single market in general in Europe to, uh, to just try and start your business somewhere else or try to expand way more easily than you do now. For the business sector, um, I think uh, the challenge is uh, that we have a, a very heterogeneous environment. We have uh, the business registers, but we have also other sources of data. And then we have uh, situations where some data is very sensitive. In Europe, we do it the, the privacy-friendly way, and that's an asset to the rest of the world. But still, in practice, it is a hurdle because you need to do all kinds of extra processes and safeguards that you have to build into, into your company before you can actually start doing all these things. Now, in Europe, we know that uh, it's sometimes very, very difficult to agree. But once we agree on something and we make it a law, that's probably the only way that we all implement the same thing. 